Hello dear aspirants and welcome to the YouTube channel of The Study. We hope that all of you would be healthy and safe in your homes in case of rising cases due to corona and black fungus. In the previous session, we had learned about the town planning of the Indus Valley Civilization and its major cities under the quick revision of history series. Today, we will learn about the political, social, economic and religious life of the Indus Valley Civilization. So let's start the session. Let us first talk about the political life of people of the Harappan civilization. Based on the available evidence, the political structure of the Harappan civilization has not been deciphered yet. Different historians have given their various views on the subject. Hunter says that the rule of the Harappan civilization was democratic rather than monarchical, whereas Ernest McKay say that on one side there was a historian's representative government Walter Rubin termed it as an administration of the Harappan civilization based on slaves. At the same time, Stuart Pigott says that the Harappa and Mohanjadaro were two separate capitals and were ruled by priests. Another most popular probe in this context is that the Harappans were more involved in trade and commerce. Hence, it was probably ruled by craftsmen and merchants. Let us now talk about the social life of the Harappan civilization. The Harappan society indicates a multi-level Varna division system that can be seen by the difference in size and type of towns and buildings of the Harappan civilization. The Harappan society was based on four Varnas, warrior, yodha, scholars, merchants and laborers. There were mainly four races living here, Mediterranean, Proto-Australoids, Mongoloids and Alpine spaces among which the population of Mediterranean race was the highest. It can be estimated that the Harappan society was matriarchal by having a glance on the way Matri Devi and the number of female idols were worshipped. The structure of houses reflect the presence of economic disparity in the society. Wheeler Sir has accepted the existence of slavery system here on the basis of laborers dwelling. People of this civilization used both woolen and cotton clothes. On the basis of the remains of grains and bones of animals found inside the house, there are indications that the food here was both non-vegetarian and vegetarian. The clothes of the people here were both plain and embroidered. The Tiptiya Shal in the famous yogi idol of Mohan Zodaro is an excellent example of embroidery. The people here were not war-loving, they were more peace-loving. They even had knowledge of mathematics, metal fabrications, measurements and weighing system, planetary constellations, meteorology, etc. Harappan used to pay special attention to the decoration. Both men and women wear jewelry. Traces of cosmetics have also been received from here. Evidence of kajal in a bottle from Harappa, lipstick from Chanhudaro, Mud Kong from Dhola Vida are also found. In addition, a silver oval bangles and a four pointed star making hairpin made up of wire have been found from Mohanjadaro. Also, the evidence of a razor of copper and bronze is also found, which tells that man used to shave. Complete burial was most prevalent at the funeral, while partial burial and cremation were also practiced. Let us now have an eye at the entertainment resources of the people here. Fishing, Hunting, fighting of animals and birds, playing chopper and dice games were the main means of entertainment of the people here. Two incomplete game boards made of bricks were also revived from Mohanjadaro. Also a picture of a man who has been holding a drum found from here. Perhaps mud carts might also be used for playing. Best type of toys have also been found from here. For example, a monkey climbing up and down on a wire, a bull shaking its head, etc. Dog, frog, a small dice of a bull have been found from Lothal. Let us now talk about the economic life of the Harappans. Let us first talk about the agricultural practice of Harappan civilization. Granary have been found in all the big cities of Harappan civilization. A spherical jar with many holes. The storehouses of keeping food grains obtained from Harappa provide information about the advanced agricultural work of the civilization. Cultivated by plowing on the alluvial soils bought by the Indus and its tributaries every year in which plow and pointage spade were used. Bronze and stone tools were used in agricultural work. 
although the pre-harappan period has found mixed fields in kalibanga but the harappan era has not been found mohanjadara and banawali have found evidences of a solution made from soil it seems that the plow of the indus civilization was made of wood in harappan civilization crops were generally sown in november and harvested in april it seems that the plow in indus valley civilization people in this civilization used to cultivate wheat barley rye peas sesame mustard cotton etc they produced two varieties of wheat and barley first cotton cultivation started in indus valley civilization therefore the greeks also called it sindans apart from this they used to grow trees and plants like people dates lemons bananas pomegranates etc let's talk further about animal husbandry with the advancement of agriculture in the harappan civilization animal husbandry also developed animals were reared for agriculture transport trade and food bull buffalo cow sheep dogs goat donkey mule etc are the main domestic animals people of gujarat reared elephants as well as a one horned animal had special significance tiger has been counted only in the sites of sindh pradesh but outside of sindh only the seals of kalibanga finds a depiction of a tiger a depiction of lion is not found on the seal of the indus civilization while on the currency of mesopotamia there is no depiction of camel and horse on the seals of indus civilization while camel bones from kalibanga and horse jaw have been found from lothal the remains of a horse tooth were found on the site named rana gundai now let's talk about the crafts and industry here the manufacture of bead work and seals along with the manufacture of clay and metal utensils was the major craft utensils were made by both wheels and hands which were red in color on this floral geometry and natural designs were made with black strip in addition clay brick manufacturing was also a major craft various items were also found from conch lac shell and elephant teeth a bead making factory has been found from chanodaro and lothal people here used to make beautiful beads with precious and semi precious stones like oinks gomd gomed turquoise feroza red stone and silkari and gold and silver also the people of indus valley civilization used the decimal system at the upper level and the bisection system at the lower level in measurement the unit of measurement was in multiples of 16 Standard weights made from shell are found from Mohenjo-daro. Apart from this, seals, terracotta figurines, stone sculpture, metal sculpture were also made, which are in- described in details in our video of Indian sculpture. Let's talk about the Harappan trade now. Both internal and external trade was in advanced stage in Harappan civilization. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were settled on trade routes and were famous centers of trade. Trade was both. through water and land routes under the internal trade there was mutual trade between various harappan sites and the inner parts of the indian subcontinent since not all goods were not produced locally therefore they were bought from different centers of remote areas to urban areas granaries found in various cities make it clear that urban centers depended only on villages for food supplies Apart from internal trade there is definite evidence of external trade as well the harappan trade from countries such as mesopotamia afghanistan bahrain oman syria etc under the external trade the items imported by the people of indus civilization were alvast semi precious stone asphalt copper silver tin lead turquoise and large wood gem etc also harappan people used to export shell and ivory items finished goods rupees grains etc the balance of trade was in favor of the harappan civilization the nature of external trade was mainly driven by the need of rich people therefore there was no item of daily use in this trade lothal rangapur prabhashpatnam surkatoda balakot sukta gendor baluchistan etc were the major ports of harappan civilization the means of inland trade was bullock cart let us now also take a look at the script of harappan civilization first evidence of indus script was found in 1853 the whole script came to light by 1923 but it has not yet been deciphered harappan script is a pictographic script consisting of 64 original symbols and up to 250 to 400 characters which are found on regular basis 
on rectangular seals of cellars, copper pallets, etc. Every letter written in the form of a picture is indicative of a sound, emotion or object. The pictogram script is also called bestrophendum script because such script is written from right to left and again from left to right. So in this way we learned about the political, social and economic life of Indus Valley civilization as well as its script. See you in the next session discussing the decline of the, its religious aspects and will step into the Vedic period. Till then stay tuned with us. Stay connected. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.